when we look at changes, unless I pick and point out the changes you're made, you'll be like, well, there's not much difference there, okay? Yeah. But through the back, so we're going to see sort of little different checkpoints where we can see your body's moved in a better way. So setup-wise, pretty much the same, okay? Left hand one was your before, okay? So as the club's going back here now, yeah, yeah, not much chest movement at all. This one now feels like you're moving the body more, okay? And in fairness, the shoulders have yes. moved a little bit more, okay? Yeah. So that right shoulder's a bit further around the corner. You can see now there's a bit more of your collar, a bit less there, okay? As we go back to kind of halfway back there, we can still see quite a bit of your collar there. As we go back the down a bit more, there you go. Yeah. Your body's starting to move a little bit more, okay? As we get to the top of the back. So now that would obviously be an ideal position there, okay? Make a nice full shoulder turn. You can see when your club gets to a similar position before, I mean, that's kind of where now it's collapsing. Yeah, yeah. And then the body now starts kicking. So you see your knee sort of like catching up there sort of complete the back so it's there now the body's now moving and that's where your club gets really long this one okay it's still long but it's less long and that's the idea we're going to move it i mean you're kind of there when we're, we're there and eventually maybe next week it'll be there week after it'll be there and maybe in a month or two's time we'll get the club somewhere between I don't know, if you go from where you are now as a bottom, you had a line, sort of line three or four, okay? And you're then that's purely just rotation. And then yeah, but you, the thing is, you, you, as opposed to it and letting it, it, it collapsing, yeah. exactly, okay? And now, again, because that back swing is going to be more connected, it's going to restrict how far it can go, but it still feels full. That's the one thing. When people have overswings, yeah. the first thing they do, they go, oh, just yeah. shorten the swing. Yeah. yeah. doesn't work, that, unfortunately, that because now you just feel completely out of time. The, the club will still probably go that way, as far as it does anyway, and your body works less. Well, that was part of the problem, you say. Your body was working less, and your arms didn't start doing this. Well, now you're like, well, hang on, if I, I can't then... <coughs> I can't move the body yeah, yeah. at all. I've got to have some movement, OK? So with that movement down... Now, again, you said yourself you're going to get a little bit flicky. That's just about impact there. You can see, see where the hands are. In an ideal world, but the hands will be a bit more towards that left thigh. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be a movement you're going to, have to we can just practice with that. But I think the initial thing to get right is getting that sensation of the takeaway as if you're just handing something to someone to your right. Yeah. yeah. You were doing it very much kind of like pushing the arms away. And I think as well, trying to turn less to swing less. Yeah. But in reality, the more you turn, the more the arms and the body work together, the more connected it was, the less you then got to do other things. So that's your fact to shorten your swing, you've got to turn more. Yeah. Which, when you think about it, that doesn't make any sense, does it? But you can see now by getting that yeah. sensation of turning more, we can, I mean, again, the follow through is pretty good to be fair. You get a nice position there, but that sensation of turning yeah. here early, once you're here now, you can't go that far. When you went like that and then you put your arm here, your left arm now kind of dragged you around yeah. more, and then your, your full shoulder turn that you created was full, but the hands and arms doing what they've done in the past created this massive long overswing. So, turning quicker as in quicker in the backswing earlier should say quicker turning earlier means your backswing's almost completed and then your brain will kind of go hang on a second i've actually done what i've got to do but i still feel full you're not sort of going like yeah no backswing at all if you've got i would say 99 times 100 when someone says i got an overswing the one thing they always do is go i gotta try and shorten my swing to try and shorten how far the swing goes we've almost got to increase your swing. Does that make yeah, sense, yeah? yeah. By, by moving your body better, yeah? But you, like everyone yeah, else, when you get over swing, yeah, they go, sense. well, I'll just shorten it. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> if it was that easy, they would just do the same thing, wouldn't they? Yeah. Just shorten the back swing. But this is why a lot of golfers struggle with half shots. Because they're trying to try and shorten this, they've got no idea where the club is. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, falls. Like, um, it's yeah. rotation as opposed to arms. Going exactly. Half, yeah. And you try and guide how much your arms have got to go back here. It's, it's a guess. And again, you can't see your arms, but you've got to be feel. And most people, when they start playing golf, they learn full, and they're good with full. But then you say, okay, right, this one went 90 yards, this one's 67 yards. I was like, why far does that go? They've got yeah. no indication of how far that needs to go, okay? So the sensation for you in that takeaway is moving the body now more. So the arms and the chest are kind of staying a bit more connected. You're moving the club away because of what your body's doing. So I suppose in some ways, right hip, right shoulder, from where you are there now, this just gets behind you, yeah? <laughs> that moves behind you. There you go. Yeah. And then you don't need to then do all the stuff with the arms and the wrist because your arms are in position to sort of complete the back swing anyway. And then you'll start kind of, your brain will start re-engaging where the club is and go, okay. And yeah, okay, like I said earlier, if your club head is here, 
Ugh, not the end of the world. It's when it starts going down here yeah, with yeah. a seven, there's a pretty good chance with a longer club it's going to be even longer. <laughs> yeah. And then we're losing a bit of control there. So. Same process then with... Exactly, driver, every club in the bag, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly, same club in the bag, yeah. All the same, any full that, swing, basically. Long, wedges as well, because, you know, get chug, chug yeah. Oh, yeah. wedges. Well, your, the thing is, if, if your initial swing now in the takeaway is just kind of that, yeah. you're just going to be... Dunk. <laughs> yeah. If you've got that steep, the first thing you do is just come straight down to the ground, you're going to be, yeah, digging for all around there, so... Okay, make sense? Yeah.